So these are the groceries I just went and got. So I'm gonna put these up. And you know, of course, I had to get some more cereal and some fruit snacks. And these is the legendary. And when I say legendary, I mean legendary. The legendary Scooby-Doo. Okay? Okay. seasonings for the recipe. I already have garlic cloves, so I don't know why I bought some more, but whatever. And then some chili powder. This gonna go in the refrigerator. Then some lemonade. And this is not what I had bought, but they had ran out of the mini made fruit punch, so I substituted it for this. Yay! We got some strawberries, some for me to snack on. I ordered the tomato sauce. I'm thinking it's the regular size, not this little stuff. Some apple juice. And then I got some, you can't really see it, but it's beef bouillon. I already got some chicken bouillon. So, some ground beef for the stuffed bell peppers. And this is small too. I'm gonna probably go buy some more ground beef because this is small. Like, I th I'm thinking it's like the regular size. And I decided to get some bananas because for one, y'all know I don't eat like that for real. So I figured that since I don't eat like that for real, I should at least like while I'm walking out the door, have something to eat, so. All right, so y'all, I just finished putting up my groceries. So now that I think about it, like these groceries should really last me until I move out. I'm, I'm moving out early. Um, my lease ends in July, but I want to move out in May because I do have an internship out of state for the summer from like June to August. Like, like the part, like the time in August it ends, it ends like right before I start school. And it ends right before I'm supposed to move in into my one bedroom. Because right now I'm living in a two bedroom with a roommate. And then I'm moving to a one bedroom. 
and yeah so that should last me I'm, I'm lying i'm lying it's not well like i don't really really do grocery shopping i just get a few things i want like some juices some snacks and then i really just get the ingredients of whatever i want to cook so that's really what i be doing i don't really be going grocery shopping for real like actually like trying to think and just get stuff to keep the house full like nah i don't do that right now i'm just stacking and grinding same with school grinding i'm just trying to get myself to where i'm set and not like like set set like oh i'm set for life like of course that's the goal too but i mean you feel me i'm doing things now like in my undergrad so that when i'm in medical school i don't have to be you feel me worrying about certain things certain things that just already be you feel me taken care of like i'm working on building my credit um i did get approved for a credit card so i've been working on that i'm building my credit you know and my credit, I mean, I've already been working on building my credit, you know, with rent, that be your name, paying on time. I don't, I don't pay it. Pay on time, not a day late, nothing. Utilities, all this and that. And, like, well, my P.O. box rent, that was due. It was, like, 156 But I'm on the um the six-month payment plan, so it's 156 every six months. So, yeah, I paid that, like, two days before it was due because, you know, you just want to stay on top of things. Stuff is in your name. Like, when it comes to your name... Your name is everything. Your name and your image is everything. So, yeah. But anywho, y'all, I'm fixing to wind down and chill, and you know, eat. And then when I'm ready to talk to y'all later, I will. Okay, so hey y'all, I'm back. Um, it is nighttime, and I ain't gonna lie, we finna hit the bed and call it a night. But basically, I was just chilling, been eating, snacking on these fruit snacks, and watching TV. I need to find something new to watch, but I don't know if everybody caught up on my vlog, but yeah, my tattoo, my thigh tattoo is like, it's done healing, so it's no longer peeling. Happy about that, but yeah, y'all, um, like I said, I don't have no work to do so far for this week, so tomorrow I have my 8 a.m. for calculus, and then I have... I'm gonna go to the lab and do some of my undergrad research with one of the chemistry professors and show y'all a little insight into that with what we do. Well, I'm not really hands on, but I do watch like when they made the, um, cause we're making polymers. So like we made it out of like vinyl furan or something like that. And like then you had to make the intermediate and then you had to, then like we were in the organic one I don't know why I'm so out of breath, y'all. Like, I was in this the shower and it was real, 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 real hot. And so it's like, y'all know when you begin at the shower and it be real, real hot and you step out into your room, it's like all that fresh air. Like, it be feeling so good. Because y'all took a shower. But anyway, so yeah, um, and in our Orgo 1, we're learning when well, we learned NMR and IR spectrum and stuff like that. So it's called spectroscopy. Basically, you can like. Um, uh, how do I explain this? I really can't explain it right now. I really can't. Um, but basically, we ran MR to, like, it basically helps us to deduce what a structure is, given, like, the amount of carbons, hydrogens, oxygens, and the bonds, and, like, it gives you by peaks, like, a 1600 peak is a carbon, and the double is a carbon-oxygen double bond, uh, yeah, I said 1700, right? A 1600 is a carbon-carbon double bond, a 1700 is a carbon-oxygen double bond, and, like, a peak at 3300 is like an OH bun, stuff like that. But anyway, I go to the lab and I'll be there for like an hour and some change. They're just doing a little here and there for the, the undergrad research. And um, I don't have nothing planned for tomorrow. I'm not going to get me some pliables. Uh, I'm not going to be on campus. Like, it is Alpha Week, but I'm participate like in whatever they got going on, probably on Wednesday, Friday, Chicken Wednesday. Everybody going to be outside. I'm already knowing. So that's when I'll be outside. It's Tuesday, I'm just chill. I might go work out. I don't know. I've completed just about. I okay for this week. I recorded the YouTube. I haven't edited it yet, but I, I'm gonna work on that. Start on that tomorrow. And I did two TikTok promotions for this week. I still have one more to do. I'm gonna knock that out Wednesday. So yeah, that's that. And I'm supposed to call it a night. Talk to y'all tomorrow because it's like 12 o'clock and I have an 8 a.m. which means I need to get up. Like I'll be setting my alarm for like 6:45 because I do hit snooze a lot, so that's what I'm gonna do. 
yeah wake up i want to go get some starbucks in the morning because like whenever i have my 8 a.m classes i like to always get a cup of coffee but i'm feeling i'm feel like a starbucks girl you know i want to just get some coffee from starbucks i don't want to make a cup of coffee whatever i got time for because as soon as the morning comes you just don't know especially with me because it's like getting up just why does my camera be want to go out of focus? Whatever, y'all. Um, I feel like she probably tired. She probably tired. That's what it is. We both tired. So, y'all, good night and talk to y'all tomorrow. Okay, so hey y'all, as y'all can see this morning, I woke up kind of later than I normally wake up, so I was rushing into the class, but we got the class, he basically gave us a handout that basically is just for us to practice these problems for when, um, for our exam next week, and this is going to be our first exam in person. He said we can bring note cards, so I need to start working on that, and go buy some note cards, and yeah, that's that. And then I know I told y'all I was going to show y'all, give, give you some insight on, you know, undergraduate research lab, but, um, the graduate, I don't know if he's a graduate student or no, he's a professor because he has an MD beside his name. The professor, he's um, not going to be here today. So he told me to either come tomorrow or next week and tomorrow, Wednesday is like my busiest day with classes for actually Wednesday. So it's not really time frame for real. So yeah. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna have to try to show y'all another time. But I know one thing, I ain't had no coffee today. And I really wanna just like go chill at a cafe. I'm not trying to be outside, cause I would like go to the belt line. Hmm. I wanna start just finding new places like, I've been in Atlanta this long and I just, I'm gonna start taking myself out on like daily, weekly, not daily, weekly dates like once a week i take myself out to eat that's what i want to start doing so i'm gonna start taking myself out on dates because you know self-care is always a must and i always take care of myself but you know also enjoying your own company is a must because you know life happens people come and go you just gotta always know that you got yourself in the end so i mean i'm very comfortable with you know myself but you know i just want to start going out to eat more and finding new places because I am becoming, um, like, y'all, I've been doing reels lately. Like, I did, like, two reels, and they, like, real good. But, yeah, like, I'm starting to like it. So, um, I just want to start going out and just filming the content. But, like, this is what I recorded yesterday. Like, it was last minute. But it was a reel of just, like, what I had saw on the Monday after week. And, you know. That was out strolling, so um, yeah. Currently nine thirty-seven. Only cafe should be open. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go somewhere. Just give me a second. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna go home for a little while because most cafes that I looked up don't open till like eleven a.m. and like it's like nine thirty something. So I'm gonna go home and chill. Um yeah and then this other cafe that on the belt line it's not really a it's not even really a cafe place you could really turn it into a brunch place or it's whatever you want to call it but they've been open since eight but it's kind of chilly outside like it's kind of real chilly outside and i'm not really trying to sit outside mm -mm. i'm not trying to do that so i'm gonna take it to the crib and work on this work so Yeah. I just bought all the Trojans. Yeah. 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 I told her, stab my 
I told her stop telling that thing she seen and told her meet me at the Ritz. I got a guess in the back of my ring and I went in trying to hit. I told her she gotta run through the team before she can talk to the lit. Before she can talk to the yeah. Let me talk, I just pulled up in some fools. I told her mama tie all my shoes. Showed her two million cash, now she woozy. Twenty matches and I'm still snoozing. I had came up out the trenches, then I had beat a few bodies like Goosey. She said you work on my show, you my Gucci. I had to sing to this bitch like Lil Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey y'all, so for today's video, it is sponsored by Dossier. Once you enter their website, you have the option to sign up and receive 20% off. Dossier is the fair alternative to luxury fragrances. They believe everyone deserves to smell like luxury, in which I also agree. So here we have a selection of different fragrances starting from $30, and they're all designer-inspired. They have designers ranging from YSL to Tom Ford to Chanel, Gucci, and Dior. My all-time favorite fragrance is the Amber Saffron, but today I will be showing you guys the floral peony scents that is inspired by Chloe. They have many different smells ranging from vanilla to cedarwood, all at a luxury and affordable price. Therefore, with their new payment method, by selecting catch at checkout, you will receive on top of the 20%, you will also receive an extra 10% that is applied at checkout, and also you will earn a $10 sign-on bonus credit. So with my code added to with the 20% off, you will receive 30% off. So my code is 10 Italia. Make sure you use it and go check out these new scents and also my all-time favorite. And also just try figuring out, you know, what you like best and what just really screams you because everyone has their own smell and signature. So make sure y'all go check out Dossier and use my code. Cute. Do I just y'all? Tell me why. Also, when I woke up, this TV is loud. Huh. everything that is wrong with Tell me why I woke up this morning and y'all, it was raining cats and dogs outside. It was just raining. I'm talking about pulling down. And yeah, so it was a no for me after that. So y'all, I went to class and y'all, um, hold on, let me finish what I'm saying. I went to class and I just came home and I just ate some more bell peppers from last night. And like today, like, I don't know. It's just something about Wednesday. Like, I get very overwhelmed sometimes. Like, I know a lot of people be like, oh, I looked at you for motivation. Like, even hardworking people, not saying y'all not hardworking, but even when you work hard, you feel me, Is you have your days. Like, you have your days where you be like, I'm tired. And you just, that's the thing about it. It's like, even though we get some points, you be like, you tired. You just got to 
you just gotta give yourself a pep talk, relax. Sometimes you just sometimes gotta cry it out, but it ain't to that point for me. But I'm just saying, in the past, like if I was very, very stressed, crying, I'm a little cry baby with certain situations. But yeah, it just feel good. I'm so y'all know that sleep be the best after you cry. That sleep be the best after you cry. But yeah, nah, I'm just. Like, I literally didn't have no work earlier in the week, and now it's like, it's getting back in that mode. So, it's like, that's the thing about college, is like, that transitions, especially from like, going from after we had our exams to spring break, then the week after that, that was like a smooth two weeks of just, you feel me, time just ticking and floating by because exams, we didn't have no assignments. And after exams, we just, you know, in class, learning new material, so we're not doing nothing, barely any homework. And stuff like that so it's like now it's like you feel me when you go from being like this when i be like this to just relaxing and chilling and then you got to go back to being like this so i'm trying to get back on track to my usual um busy self like i still be busy but not as busy as i'm always that not as busy as i um am most of the time and then like it's like when the weather is like weather like today when it was raining and just gloomy outside that be affecting my mood too does that the stuff like that affect y'all mood i don't know like today was just very stuffy i wasn't feeling it i was very irritated i did like i was getting irritated from the littlest things and yeah um, i hate days like these but you know we human we go through it we have up days we have down days some days we don't know what's wrong with us but you just got to keep going Hey y'all, so today is Thursday. Let me just tell y'all how the day went. Like this week is just different, but anywho. So basically, today at 8 a.m. went to that. Then my um uh, physics lab, he, y'all, like I was so tired, but I kept him snooze, kept him snooze, kept him snooze, kept him snooze. Like so sometimes my ability to not want to get back up saves me because he texted at the last minute and said, sorry class, no lab today. So I'm like, I'm glad I didn't see him waste gas and get to campus and like, I'm glad I didn't go because cause, y'all know gas prices are not cheap now just to get up and the class be canceled. But anywho, I'm over here. Uh, I'm getting ready, but it's not for no special occasion. I need to complete this last TikTok promotion for this week. So I'm just doing my makeup and then. I'm going to go get some pliables and chill outside and do some of my lab, my physics lab. Um, I finished one. I did my capacitor lab yesterday. It's due tonight at 11.59. And the other ones, like he said he was locked out of our like learning platform that we use called Canvas. So he said the, um, that he'll just add the labs up there. And so he added all the labs up there, but he's not like really. Because like for one... We've been having a lot of issues with certain labs, with certain labs, so he's not really on to us about like when we turn it in, just as long as it get turned in before the end of the semester. But I don't like being behind, so I'm just catching up with the old labs and turning them in. So, let me put my lashes on. Okay, so y'all, let me tell y'all what my post office did. So, my old P.O. box location, I don't know if I told you about that anyways, I had to end up getting another P.O. box somewhere because they just, out of nowhere, closed down like it's permanently closed like i'm talking about okay one day i end up trying to go check my p.o box i'm like it's blocked off and people can't go in there i'm thinking that just it's construction maybe it's just a day or two the next day dry better i still can't get enough then i look it up on google because i'm like let me call these people it says permanently closed i'm like hold on so y'all just shut down y'all didn't tell the customers you didn't say nothing about how we supposed to access the packages and nothing like that like literally no information was given so then I ended up calling on another um, post office. I'm like, maybe they transferred to another post office location, like down the street or something around the corner. So I called them and they're like, oh yeah, this is the new location. I go to the new location that she gave me, which is like way, way, it's not, it's like 20, it's like 20 minutes from the old location. And that's like going north where all the traffic be. I get up there. It's a, it's like a warehouse. It's where like they go to drop and pick the pick up the packages. It's not no post office. So then I'm we I go in the building, ain't nobody in there. It's just a warehouse. And then a lady come out and she like, Oh yeah, um, yeah, we had put signs up and then me and it's like literally me and two other customers, like we all pulled up at the same time walking in there and talking to her and we like, Oh, it's like they had three, four different posters on the um door that had like different locations like it's not telling you nothing so then they're like oh yeah this is the location for 
something 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 and then this place is the location for the p.o boxes so i go to the new location they like oh yeah um you have to do a change of address so your packages can get changed here and you have to fill out a new form and get a whole new p.o box and a whole new set of keys i'm like well golly like and then it just all the fact that did nobody say nothing like no email no notification no nothing i'm like so how y'all just gonna like huh so yeah that really ticked me off so now i'm gonna try to go see well it depends on what time i leave here because the post office closed at five but i need to see if i've gotten my package that i need for um my brand cooperation with this company and i still haven't received it so if i don't make it today i'm gonna definitely go check it tomorrow but it's just the fact that like nothing was said like i was so lost and confused i didn't know what was going on like why y'all just couldn't say nothing and y'all i love this setting spray and some people be asking me for a makeup tutorial i'm gonna film one of those probably next week or something like that i'm gonna film that and then i'm gonna film like a day in a life y'all i want to start being more consistent but it's only so much consistency i can have as a college student like yeah i want to be consistent with posting but y'all it's just like blogging sometimes is very um draining um not in a bad way but it's like sometimes you get tired you're human you know and then editing on top of that and like i really i really do be trying to give good content and good editing so yeah it's just editing be taking a long time too i do have new content coming in the summer for my internship i'm gonna be out the state i ain't finna have my car i don't know how this finna go like but i looked up place things to do in the state that i'm gonna be at and they got a lot of like water parks and um not water parks like waterfalls and places you can just you know go chill and catch a vibe so i'm gonna be an adventurous girl this summer because the place i'm going to i doubt they have clubs and then for one i'm not going to some clubs unless you feel me i meet somebody who i'm cool with but then again it's like you in a state with people you don't know like i really don't i don't trust people like that so you know but this whole time I'm just be trying new restaurants and then my friend Destiny, she has an internship in Texas. So I told her I fly out to um Dallas and spend a weekend with her. So this whole summer I'm gonna just be doing stuff, trying to, you know, get somewhere. Mm -mm, I need some more pink um lip gloss because I'm running out, as y'all can see. over here rubbing my lips hard mm -mm -mm. okay now i just need to do my hair i do this little tiktok and i'm gonna be done so and did i tell y'all i installed this wig myself i don't know if i told y'all that but yeah i started with myself i'm trying to get good and whatnot I have a little experience and this summer given that i'm gonna be out of state i'm gonna be doing my own wig installs because like i could find a hairstylist somewhere else but come on now that's money i could be making okay so y'all i just did my little tiktok got that out the way so now i'm fixing to head out we get to go get some fireball and go chill okay so y'all i'm ready well i'm ready to leave the house i'm gonna leave the house I'm gonna get some pliable. Too happy. But anywho, I'm gonna go get that and then I'm gonna go chill and work on this lab report. So I'm going to talk to you guys when I get to where I'm going. Before we leave, just some I threw on. I threw on my Clark Atlanta hoodie, some my a pair of gray shorts. This came with like a two-piece set from Sheen and my gray and red dunks i didn't know to after the fact well i didn't pay attention to the fact that these are my school colors like i had got these before i, I didn't get these just because this is my school colors but yeah y'all i like my little tattoo i want another ankle tab but anywho toodles and you're satanic, looking for it, moving, got your toe, Jeffy, we made it, now we gotta run it back to what you think and fill up, I was thinking two weeks on the road, I'm running.
Okay, so hey y'all, I'm back home. I just took my makeup off. Um, but I wanted to show y'all the pack, the stuff I was talking about earlier with the um uh -huh. the organic cotton cover super pads um mixed with mint, lavender, and aloe, and it's the honey pot and y'all. It just, especially after getting out the shower, it just makes you feel real, real good. And it, do, it does have a team to it. And this is the um, Peri underwear. Yeah, y'all, look at this. It's the Always Peri underwear. And you just feel so comfortable. So if you ain't ever heard of it or tried it, try it. <sighs> it just feels so good. So yeah, I'm gonna take me a shower. And once I get out, I'm gonna talk to y'all. So, yeah, y'all, I'm out of the shower. My hair looks a mess, but I'm going to show y'all what I've been working on. I'm working on this website. I mean, I designed my website for, like, my Brett's Lifestyle business, and um, I want to get more consistent with that. Like, um, I ship out orders when I get them, but I haven't really been consistent with that because I've been in school and other things, so I want to rebrand that and just, you know, get, like, strong with marketing because when I first launched it, I was very strong. Me and Destiny was very strong with marketing. But me and her are both very busy college students. She goes to Tuskegee, I go to Clark. She's involved with a lot of activities on campus, plus extracurricular with internships, same for me. So it's like, we try to do a lot here and there, but we don't get it together. But anyways, so this is just like, I'm basically, I'm using a template, like, um, so I'm basically just trying to get the front page of the website together and yeah so i like added the logo right there and um i might take this off or i, I want to change the font i don't know but yeah i'm just trying to get it together so i'm fixed to work on that for the next um probably hour or so and then i'm gonna call it a night so y'all how y'all doing I said I want to do was start doing girl talk. I know I said I'm gonna drop a makeup video, a makeup tutorial coming soon, an updated one, and I want to do like a weekend in my life one day. It gotta be a late weekend, though. Yeah. And then I want to do like a styling outfit with me, or like a and like a content day, influencer day vlog because i do have this other outfit that i had planned that i'm i'm going to take pictures in i don't know when but whenever i do i'm gonna make a, a whole vlog for it probably depends but yeah, yeah. i'm fixing to go ahead and wrap it up because i need to transfer some clips from this camera so i'll let y'all tomorrow either during a lab or whenever i'm headed to america's so good night y'all Nothing in y'all But understand nothing was done for me So I don't plan on stopping at all I want this shit forever, mine, never mind, never mind I'm shutting shit down in the mall It's Sunday, girl, she the one for me And I ain't even planning to call I want this shit forever, mine, never mind Like a sprint ankle, boy, ain't nothing to play with Started off local, but thanks to all the haters I know G4 pilots on a first name basis In your city faded off the ground Nino, she insists she got more class We know, swimming in the money, come and find me Nemo, if I was at the club, you know I ball Chemo, drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album Who'da thought a countrywide tour would be the outcome Labels want my name beside an X like Malcolm Everybody got a deal, I did it without one Yeah, nigga, I'm about my business Killing all these rappers, you would swear I had a hit List. Everyone who got in me is asking for forgiveness If you ain't been a part of it, at least you got to witness Bitches It may not mean nothing to y'all Understand nothing was done to me So I don't plan on stopping at all 
Okay, so hey y'all. Um hold on. Okay, so hey y'all. Um I got a lab at like I left lab at like when well, I left lab at four and I had to go to this building will get my COVID test for our weekly COVID testing. I got I left there like 4 35, went home and was chilling, got my bag and stuff. And yeah, so it's like 7 46. I ain't gonna get there till like 9 30 ish, 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna get ready to go on the road and go see my folks for the few couple of days. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog vlogs. Like, I really just wanna enjoy time being with my family because, like, I don't even be down there for real. But yeah. Okay, so hey y'all, I'm back home. So basically, yeah, I went to America's for the weekend, came back. Um, I was actually wrong. Um, earlier in the vlog or a clip, I said my auntie's birthday was in April. I mistook her birthday for the um, her leaving date. So yeah, no. But her birthday was this past. Um, it was the 25th yeah it was the 25th so the all um, my folks they had a little get together i went over there and saw them and really and truly i really just want to enjoy my family enjoy the moment i don't feel like trying to vlog and do all this and that i didn't get to see my granddaddy because i'm still thinking my granddaddy gonna be home the whole time here in about austin and that's two hours from america's like i just drove two hours down and i gotta make a whole two hours back i was not gonna do a trip to Valston, but he said, you know, we're going to plan something one weekend. So I'm going to go down there and see him and see my folks up in Bad Austin. So, yeah, y'all, I'm back home. I'm tired. I just want to relax and get in bed. This week was Alpha Week. I hate that I missed Stroll like an Alpha. That was Friday. So, they didn't really, they didn't really have no events. Okay, on the Monday, the first day out, you know, they was on the, um, uh, they was on a promenade. And Friday, they had to Stroll like an Alpha. And that's when I left to go to America's like... I wish I could have got that content for y'all, but you know, I, I want to go see my folks. And plus, it's going to be other weeks with the other fraternity, so I'm going to try to get some footage or just, I'm, first of all, now that I look at or think about it, I haven't been to not one football game. I haven't been to not one basketball game. And more so is because, for one, I have 8 a.m. classes and like I be real real busy so when I do have time and then trying to you feel me playing stuff for being an influencer with vlogging and doing some stuff I really just don't be feeling like it or having the energy to want to get cute and want to go to the game and like that I be busy like I be happy but next year I'm gonna make it a mission to catch at least one football game and at least one basketball game so yeah that's what I'm gonna try to do but even so, I still give y'all insight on, you know, college life. That's why, you know, I feel like, you know, ain't nothing wrong. Like, I'm never the type of person or influencer or YouTuber who will ever feel like, oh, I feel like I should only be in a spotlight. Like, it's a lot of other Clark YouTubers who y'all can go check out. You know, type in Clark ATL. Like, you get different, um aspects and point of views and perspectives when you like you watch different people that go to the same school you know like me more so when i first like my freshman year i was on campus so i had more of the party life and campus life but now that i'm off campus i still i still go on campus you know for classes or whenever i want to go on campus but it's like it's not like just walking outside and you just right in the middle of the function or you just know what's going on so yeah that's one thing about staying off campus you have to put in more work to really you know know what's going on around campus or what's going on in school but i mean it's not hard but i just yeah and i do not regret living off campus yeah i don't regret living off campus because i really just like living off campus i feel like for the price like yeah rent in atlanta is you know it's, it's getting up there but housing in clark is expensive and the conditions that sometimes they didn't have or some of the students be saying i'm just like mm -mm. The, the freshman dorm was enough for me but i was lucky enough that when i had it when i was when i was a freshman um we had the COVID thing so it was just we had no roommate but sharing that small room with a roommate that would have just made me want to cry mm -mm. so yeah but y'all i'm thinking to get ready to go to bed um what's this on my face i'm finna get ready to go to bed and yeah i'm gonna holler at y'all the next vlog next content next video whatever whatever whatever